In this example, we're given that the function passes through the points, or the point, negative 1, negative 2, and also that the vertex is 4, negative 9. So again, we list our ingredients. The point is negative 1, negative 2, and the vertex is 4, negative 9. Since we're given the vertex, it's probably best to start with the vertex form, which is, again, y equals some constant a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And now we just throw in the numbers where they belong. The y-coordinate of a point that the function passes through is negative 2, so that goes there. a is the unknown. It comes along for the ride. The x-coordinate of a point that the function passes through is negative 1, so that replaces that. h is 4, so that goes there. k is negative 9, that goes there. And then negative 1 minus 4 yields negative 5. Everything else stays the same. Negative 5, the quantity squared, gives us 25. And then 25 times a just gives us 25a. Now at this stage, in order to solve for a, we can take this negative 9 and add it over to the other side. And when we do, negative 2 plus 9 will give us a positive 7. And then positive 7 equals 25a. In order to solve for a, we can divide both sides by the 25. So this gives us finally that a is equal to 7 over 25. As a result, we can write our equation in vertex form. It is y equals our value of a, 7 over 25, times the quantity x minus h, or 4, squared, plus k. Since k was negative 9, we have a negative 9 here. Hopefully this helps.